Hi everyone, this is our Food Chains Activity Pack, which is full of activities designed to support children in Key Stage 2 when learning about this aspect of science. This pack contains a fantastic PowerPoint presentation, which is a great starting point and provides lots of information about food chains. Food chains are an essential part of life and they can help children understand nature as well as teach about the diets of animals. Here are the four key words children should be aware of when studying food chains. All food chains start with a producer, which are plants which make their own food by using light from the sun. Consumers are animals, which either eat plants or other animals. If an animal is eaten by another, it is prey, whereas the animal that eats it is a predator. The best way for children to understand food chains is for them to make their own, and in the pack we have pictures that you can use. Cut them out and arrange them using arrows, which in food chains means is eaten by and shows the flow of energy. Don't stick them down though, try to make as many food chains as you can using the different animals we've included. Another great way to show food chains is by making a paper chain. For a simple food chain, cut out three lengths of paper and on each one write producer, consumer, prey and consumer, predator. Then write as many examples as you can think of on each chain and stick them together, starting with producer, then prey and then predator. Be careful though, some animals can be both prey and predators. Another great visual resource is this flipbook, which encourages children to think of food chains in different environments. Cut along the black lines of the coloured page and then stick down to the side of the blank page. Biome refers to the environment that an animal is in, so ask children to select an environment and then think about the plants or producers you might find there, then the consumers and then the predators. You could colour code to include more than one biome and think about the different food chains present there. Once children feel more confident in their understanding, as well as the vocabulary used in this topic, we have a worksheet all about food chains for children to read and fill in the missing words, as well as a question section of the PowerPoint and finally a quiz to test their knowledge. We really hope you enjoy this activity pack. And remember, whether you're a parent, a carer, a teacher or a teaching assistant, a childminder or anybody else who teaches, we are here to support you. Have fun.